The first item here is notifications. This will show you your Moodle version, which is always useful to see, and also whether the cron script has run. And the, the cron script is used to do things like automatically email out forum posts to update RSS feeds and so on. We're on a local site here, it's not too much of an issue. Certainly on a production site, you wouldn't want to see this message. Uh, we deal with cron scripts elsewhere in the course. The registration page allows you to register your site with Moodle.org. Um, this will help provide some statistics, basic things such as the number of courses or the number of questions used on a site. Uh, quite interesting information that, that Moodle.org can collect and, and put into a statistics page which is actually available right there on Moodle.org. Um, alternatively, you can register with a, another hub. Uh, community hubs, very new feature in Moodle 2. We haven't seen a lot of use of this yet, uh, but it's likely that this will grow over the, over the coming years. Under advanced features, we see a whole raft of things, including enabling outcomes, which is a, like a competency or outcome statement, which can be used throughout a site. Enabling comments and tags across a site, uh, as well as notes. E-portfolios, if you're using something like Mahara, uh, you may want to enable e-portfolios. Web services is a very new area, probably not something that at this point many people will want to use. Um, messaging system, obviously quite important to, to a lot of Moodle sites, but for some scenarios, maybe in a school, you want to disable the messaging system globally. Um, so a number of settings here which are made at a site-wide level and can be switched on and off at any time. The second half of the page also provides some useful uh, options in the advanced settings. Um, enabling statistics will enable you to create some really quite nice graphs about how your site is being used. Um, it does have a, a server overhead, so the processing can take a while. If you're running on a very slow server, or if you're just using a local testing site, probably not worth doing. Um, enabling RSS feeds, quite a popular option, so most sites would have this enabled. The blog visibility um, can be set, so, so a, a kind of level for the whole site, so whether all users are able to see all blogs or whether they are publicly viewable. This is where the administrator sets that on a site-wide level. Uh, networking, probably not too important for most people at the moment. Uh, not too many organisations networking Moodle systems together, although that will be something that perhaps happens more in the future. And then a number of settings which are useful, uh, enabling completion tracking, which is new in Moodle 2 and will enable you to track the completion through a course. Conditional activities, which allow you to set whether activities such as, as quizzes or forums and so on are actually available uh, restricted by their date or whether a previous activity has been completed. And also plagiarism, so if you're using uh, a plagiarism tool, something like Turnitin, then you can actually uh, configure this plugin from here.